Hi, I'm David Buckland and welcome to this week's Video Insight. Deutsche Bank research have released a report on global demographics over the balance of this decade. And I believe two of the more pertinent conclusions follow. Number one, in the 71 year period between 1950 and 2021, the population growth of the more developed regions of the world was around 480 million people. For context, the world population in 1950 was two and a half billion people. However, over the eight year period, 2022 to 2030, the population growth of the less developed regions of the world is forecast to increase by 575 million people. For context, the world population in 2030 is forecast to be around eight and a half billion people. The strong emerging market population growth will drive huge urbanisation, construction, energy and electricity demand and infrastructure, and of course education. Australia should benefit as a significant exporter of commodities, including coal, iron ore, wheat, beef, copper and aluminium, where we generally rank first, second, third or fourth in the world of exports. And number two, people in developed markets are ageing and generally lack pension savings. However, growing lifespans from better health means people are generally working longer through either choice or necessity. Amongst the OECD countries, the retirement age has gently been trending up to the current 63 and a half years of age. That said, reliance on governments to provide for retirees is a risk to bigger budget deficits and potentially higher bond yields. People want governments to fund pensions and the concentration of voting power in older generations will keep the pressure up on those governments. Pension spending in advanced economies is trending up to an estimated nine and a quarter percent of GDP by 2030. It was sub 5% back in 1970. And this is often financed by people in work. The working age population and as a percentage of the total population is trending down for many developed economies. And that forecast ratio of around 55% in 2030 stands out particularly in places like France, Germany, Italy and the, New and the United Kingdom. Of the 36 OECD economies, total healthcare expenditure is expected to grow by 1.8% of GDP between 2015 and 2030 to around 10% of GDP. In the US, for example, this figure is growing by 3.4% to around 20% of GDP over the 15 years to 2030. In summary, many commodities, both construction related and agriculture related, as well as healthcare, should benefit from this aggressive shift in demographics, particularly in developing economies over the balance of this decade. That's all we have time for this week. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.